Happy Easter, everyone, One. and a very merry white boy summer. White boy summer, in full effect. In full effect. Uh, it's also the Easter episode. This is so happy zombie day. Happy zombie day from the Trash Fire <laughs> Media <laughs> family. From the Trash Fire Media Trash Fire trash podcast. Fire, um, fire. <laughs> A trash man, <laughs> trash guys from the the garbage disposal people <laughs> from the garbage men. Uh, shit, uh, but yeah, it's International Zombie Day. Nobody loves it like us. Mm-hmm. Jesus died two days ago. He rose from the dead today, and he got beamed up by himself because he is the God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Right. Amen. Amen. And he was reincarnated into Peter Rabbit. Peter, Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. The well, well, who we know as the <laughs> Easter Bunny. His Easter actual Bunny. name is Peter E. Cottontail, <laughs> and uh, he, that's who Jesus Christ resurrected as. And um, you know, a lot of people they like to say, like mainly the media, they like to say that he goes around laying eggs. But men don't lay eggs, right? Right. So where is he getting those eggs from? Do, but do 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 bunnies lay eggs? Bunnies do not lay eggs. At that, <laughs> bunnies don't lay eggs. So where is he getting these eggs from? That's yeah. the first question. He's stealing and eggs. Second question: Why is the mainstream media trying to make it seem like it's okay for you know they're trying to get us really comfortable with you know um, with trans people? <laughs> well, they're trying to get us really comfortable with cocaine-filled eggs. It sounds Co- like cocaine. Yeah, you've gotten cocaine in those eggs before. Well, I think that's what in Miami. That's the what, what happened. Makes they, sense. They put cocaine in the eggs. They put cocaine. You might find a blue molly, which blue molly is just cut molly. If all you fucking idiots that are taking colored molly don't know, yeah. you know, it's just it's just like B twelve. And meth. B12 and meth. And yeah. meth. <laughs> so uh, you, you crystal girls out there. We know what crystal you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not talking about uh, myrrh or anything. You're talking about meth. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, Capsulized man. crystals. Yeah, man. But what do you think about Jesus beaming himself up? I don't think that happened, man. What do you think happened? I think that's a lot of, of a load of baloney, honestly. And, a load um, of baloney. First of all, Jesus was Korean. That in, it was in North Korea where where they crucified him. Yeah, um, he was actually crucified by Kim Il Sung. Yeah, he was sent to be crucified by Kim Il Sung. So they dragged him. Um, well, first they they killed him. They stole his his organs. They sold them, uh, and then they threw him in a cave with a rock. Some Koreans came with some tea boasters, some white rhino pills, and they kind of just slid it under the rock. And uh, he just got up swole as fuck and moved that bitch and kept it moving. Kept it moving. But he had no organs, it sounds like. You said he s- they sold all his organs? Yeah, because usually in North Korea, that's how they go about things with you. It you just know, sounds just like a typical day in North in Korea. In North Korea, they take your organs, they sell it, they tell you to fucking keep it moving, you know? Chilling. Yeah, so that's why in North Korea, there's that big statue of the buff Jesus Christ. is because he was not only not Israeli or Palestinian, he was Korean. He was definitely not Israeli. Uh, yeah. Right, he was not a he was not Jewish. <laughs> he, no, he was he, he was Jewish, but he was Korean Jewish. He was definitely not in support of a, of a Zionist state. He was Korean Jewish, as we are. We're we're in support of a, a Zionist state. I'm in support of a, a of a one party one. <laughs> I'm just a one party global system. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I just want China to own <laughs> everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm in support of. Yeah. So, uh, but. Did the Easter Bunny leave you any presents? The Easter Bunny didn't leave me anything. He just left like a turd compact into like like pieces of shit compact into little little Easter eggs. Yeah. I just left them laying in my fucking yard and I was super excited about the whole thing. So I'm just going around and you know just total disappointment to open up those eggs and just see little little turds chopped up into pieces in them. <laughs> it's not fucking fair. This is the second time this happens this year because that's what Santa left in the in my fucking stockings. Oh. Yeah, just chopped up turds. I don't know whose turds. I don't know where they're getting the fucking poop from, but... Well, maybe it's uh, Peter E. Cottontail. Cottontail. Peter E. Cottontail. Could have been. This was also the day that they sacrificed our Lord and Savior, Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith. Yeah, I mean, Joseph Smith is a, is a, is a true American. <laughs> he is definitely a true American, reincarnation of jesus christ himself yeah. jesus christ was born in america well once 
you know, <laughs> he moved to Goodyear. well, he moved to America <laughs> to yeah. open up a fucking laundromat it's in like Los Angeles. Five different Jesuses. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's how it works, right? Isn't it just like a bunch of different Jesuses and they like get together like Knights of the Round Table or like uh like the Justice Friends do? You know, they just gather around different Jesuses of different race. You know, and this is why there's the whole controversy of Black Jesus. White Jesus, Korean Jesus. Is that a controversy? Um, Israeli Jesus. Yeah, man. Israeli Jesus. Israel it was you know, just made a couple years ago. Yeah. So I don't think... Uh, you know, some people think that uh, that Jesus was this gorgeous white man with blonde hair and blue eyes. That's what I think. Uh, some people think that... I think Jesus Some people loved. think Jesus smoked black and miles and drank Old English. Oh, shit. You know, some people uh, think that... I think that Jesus Je- would have been... Some people think Jesus owned... <laughs> a Korean laundromat in Los Angeles, and he definitely did. This is the he truth. did all of these things. He did all of these things. Um, but yeah, no. Well, for this show, you know, we, it's the Easter special Easter episode. So coming up, Easter special. Coming up, we got Lil Nas X on the show. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have Chet Hanks. We're gonna have who else? We're gonna have on the show uh, Tiffany Haddish. No, Tiffany Haddish isn't isn't part of White Boy Summer. Fucking Matt Gates. Oh, Matt We're Gates. We're so happy oh, to have Matt oh, Gates yeah. on the show. Uh, Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden. Fucking uh, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey's not not white. He's passing. He's white. Passing. <laughs> Him <laughs> and Doctor Phil look exactly alike. I can't tell them <laughs> apart. Yeah, Steve Harvey is black. Doctor Phil. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Thought they were the same person, honestly. Yeah. Well, yeah, so uh, just sit tight. We got all these things uh, in the works it's coming fun, for you. It's a fun show. It's a fun show we got going on for today. Yeah. Numb through the pain. So, yeah, Lil Nas X got a new video out. And it is fire from what I've heard. From what you've heard. I haven't seen it yet. Me neither. But since it's such a holy day, we, would, we just wanted to get together with a uh, fellow Christian rapper, Lil Nas X. Oh, actually, he's Jewish, right? Fellow, yes, fellow he's Jewish. Jewish. Fellow Jewish rapper. We're also As Jewish. all of them. Um, <laughs> Jews run the rap industry now. <laughs> fellow Jewish rapper, Lil Nas X. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to give you... The our, real Nas. The one and only real Nas. There was no other Nas. No Nas before there's, him. There's no such thing as Illmatic. Illmatic was a myth. Bullshit. Um, uh, so we're going to watch this and give you our live reaction to our first time watching the Lil Nas X. Very first time. Montero, Call Me By Your Name video. And I'm a homophobe, so I'm expecting to do this for this to do a lot of damage to me. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not a homophobe, but <laughs> we can, we can uh, agree to disagree here. Uh... All right, ready? Ready. Lil Nas X Montero. So this shit did. looks hella gay already. So he directed it as well. Hey, I think that should look kind of dope so far. Yeah, that's some crazy blender magic. <laughs> it's a crazy blender render. Whoa. Whoa. You, you get the snake? Oh, no. Oh, is that Satan? Is that Lucifer? Oh, he's supposedly Eve. Oh, okay. He's Adam and Eve. Hey, it was Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. This looks like a bad fucking shroom trip. Yeah, I'm not going to even fucking lie. This fucking video looks kind of crazy in a good way. I kind of wish I was the one that directed it. Who the fuck is this ugly ass nigga? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit. They fucking. <laughs> he fucking a snake. I'm a fuck a snake. Uh, you know snakes have those like little slits like right there, that where their penis and their vagina is or whatever. So is he just gonna like suck the slit? So a lot of people that are upset at this video, I'm not, I'm not triggered just yet. I'm actually impressed. I've been triggered the entire time. I told you I was homophobic <laughs> from the beginning. And then now there's slave jokes. But the song- Does he think slavery is funny? <laughs> the song kind of sucks, though. <laughs> oh, you got the nails. I'm waiting for the song to drop. <laughs> oh, what? He said the N-word just now. It's canceled. He's white. He's not allowed to say he's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> He's not allowed to say that. Only I'm allowed to Come say on, that. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. That's not that's not nice to the to 
to the Jews that brought us here. This video is making me oh, wet. Oh no! This video is making me sopping wet right now. Hey, you peeping the fucking long ass trip? Somebody report? bring it. Oh, that's a crazy somebody, blender <laughs> render right there. Dog. Somebody bring in a bucket. I am sopping. I'm dripping down the leg right now. Hey, he look like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Oh God! Jeez, bro, he busting it. I could smell the testosterone through here. Yeah, it just smells like man ass and nigga nuts. He's twerking on the guy. Hey, damn yo, hey, got mad at 3D Satan. Hey, I, Satan's I so person. lucky right now. That's a lot of. I thought he was gonna get penetrated. That's a lot of busting it right now. Yeah. Hey, he got some crazy shoulders. I'm not going to lie about that. You like his shoulders? Yeah, he probably does like a lot of overhead press or something. Oh, he oh, kills, he kills Satan. Satan. And then he's gonna in the name him. of Christ. In yeah, the name, yeah, he shouldn't in the name rape of him. Moses, isn't it? That's it? The song's... St I thought the song... I was waiting for the fucking song to drop. Yeah, that's just... That's that was it. it? Yeah, yeah. Take that shit that off. That fucking bro. sucked. You got the fucking mouse. Take it off. Hey. Well, anyway. That was disappointing. I thought he was gonna get raped by, by the devil. Yeah, I was hoping that was a very graphic sex scene at the end of it. Yeah. You ever seen uh Well I am rock hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen uh Arc Call me Medusa because I'm rock hard. Uh I don't get that reference. Medusa, Medusa would turn people into stone, so yeah, it didn't really make any sense. <laughs> but it, I feel like Medusa's staring at my penis right now. Hey, the only thing that I got from that Lil Nas X video is that the is Easter a boner? Bunny, is a boner? Uh, I got, I'm, that I'm, I'm on Chubbs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh the easter bunny is black did you guys get that, did you get that? <laughs> yeah i got that one too yeah definitely <laughs> easter bunny is not white <laughs> he's not easter white bunny's definitely black yeah and that's a little controversial but yeah i can see why people, people don't want to hear the truth <laughs> people you know i can see why people are upset you ever like worked out and then like i don't know just like you could smell your own nuts from there have you ever been into a locker room and just smelled like just niggas balls mm, everywhere? No, nah, no, nah, I can't do that. I can't say <clears> that I have. But yes, after a long day, maybe after a workout, my balls. You ever scratched and sniffed? Oh, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. scratched and sniffed right before, right? To me, yeah. that's what that entire video smells like. Like your balls? Just like my balls after a workout. Yeah, yeah, my from under. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't get. I the can't cheese get from under my nuts. <laughs> I can't get weed. Yeah. It was a cool video, though. I like the editing. The editing was sick. I'm sorry, you know, all my Christian fans The out concept there, is kind of stupid. Uh, I'm know, highly offended. <laughs> I don't know what people were so pissed about, but there you go. We fucking... I'm highly offended that I didn't hype. get to play Satan in that <laughs> in that video. That's why I'm highly... Because they didn't call me to play Satan. I should have been the first caller. Hey, real shit, man. Maybe for the next one. Hopefully for the next one. It's, like, it's, like, it's kind of crazy how the entire rap industry is uh, controlled by Jewish people. It is, man, right? Got Isn't Kodak. it? Kodak. Kodak Black just converted to, to Judaism. Um, Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Not Jewish. Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. Eminem. Eminem. <laughs> Fucking Nassim Black. <laughs> Nassim Black, definitely. He controls the entire industry. Yeah, man. Lil Dicky. So, Lil Dicky. So, yeah, man, let me tell you something. Jews created rap. The Jews created rap. The Jews are, they run the rap industry. And this is what they're putting into our music videos. They're putting in satanic cult messages to be able to brainwash our youth and, and do drugs for and do drugs and have sex with the with Satan and or have sex with young with young black men. To masturbate too early in, in their life. Yeah, right. Because you have to wait. How many children saw that and got and and uh you know now and they're now hard. they're. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really want to talk about children. Yeah, you started rock hard. I did start it, and I don't really like the joke. <laughs> so I'm gonna end it off right there. <laughs> You're the only person on this on this episode that's allowed to end and create jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And one. I feel like I was crossing the bridge. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have done that. Call me in the morning. I'll be on the Overall, that video sucked. The song sucked. Oh no, yeah, not the video. That's what I meant to say. The song fucking sucked. The video. It was, was a bad song. Kind of cool. The Satan shit was a little extra, but hey guys, hey, 
Satan's not real. He's not real, bro. Satan's not he's real. Not, God's not, not real. real. Jesus is Korean. <laughs> the rap industry is Jewish. We only got a limited time here, you know, guys. Yeah. Like, don't get fucking pissed. For you to be, for you, it's we're here for a too short of a time for you to be scared of this big gay magical <laughs> goat man that is gonna lock you in a fiery pit rub your butt for eternity for all of eternity yeah you shouldn't be scared of because that's at least what the pastor taught me hell was like yeah right baphomet you shouldn't be scared of a goat uh you should be scared though of real things like nike and like the catholic church and the catholic church nike is putting blood in in shoes now yeah yeah right uyghur blood yeah that's what i was gonna ask where do you think they get that blood Fucking from uyghur who do you blood? think they get it from chinese children are making shoes with uyghur blood in it that's what you should be worried about not no fucking music video. Yeah. Not no fucking, uh, you know, whether whether guys want to pound each other in the ass, take each other to pound. Well, them. they should be. They should be worried about that too, because that's a very very serious thing. What? Because I mean, I don't want to get locked down in hell with that magical goat man. But that magical goat. We're just saying how that magical goat man doesn't. Exist. Right, right, right. But Santa does, right? Santa doesn't exist either, unless he's black. Nobody exists unless they're black. What about the Easter Bunny? Please at least fucking tell me that Peter E. Cottontail is was black, was real, and is still alive. But he was black, so you probably wouldn't recognize. Because him. if he's not alive, who is putting those? Who's shoving those little turds into the fucking little plastic eggs and leaving them all over my yard? Who's doing that? Is that my fucking landscaper? Because I'm gonna have to have a serious talk with hey, him. Hey, that might be your fucking landscaper, bro. Damn Hondurans. Oh. I'm not being racist. My landscaper's Honduran. <laughs> I'm just fucking and I saying. Hate my where, I'm just saying where he's from. I do hate my. Who doesn't hate their fucking landscapers? They wake you up every Wednesday morning, loud as shit. Seven and all. Yeah, man. Fuck that. But yeah, guys. If you don't know, recently Chet Hanks declared a white boy summer. Now it's white boy summer. It's a real white boy summer. How did that pop the collars up? Collars up for white boy summer, right, everyone? So double and triple up on your drywall, because you know white boy's about to punch. <laughs> we about to be punching shit. <laughs> you said we. You said we. Yeah, man, this is our, this is our <laughs> fucking summer, bro. It was supposed to be our summer. It was supposed to be our summer, but some fucking assholes fucked that, fucked that up for us, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Fucking white boys like us. We, we, was, we finally, finally had a summer to ourselves. <laughs> For us, by us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, what, what? How did some people fuck up? Uh, white boy summer. Fucking our Matt, white boy. Matt summer. Gates. Matt Gates. Matt Gates fucked things up for us. Um, yeah, man. Matt Gates. Fucking Matt Gates. Yeah. Uh, trafficked a seventeen-year-old. <laughs> At least that's what he says. He got way too excited for white boy summer. He says it was some mug because we dropping the just, hard R's. He says it was just one seventeen-year-old. But, you know, we recently saw a video, uh, uh, an interview he did with Tucker Carlson. <laughs> that shit looked fucking crazy. And even Tucker Carlson was like, I think Matt Gates did that shit. <laughs> he was like, no cap, he did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Matt Gates is on there fucking talking about like you you remember I was at dinner with you and your wife two years he kept ago kept trying to accuse him like he was a part of the whole thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like I, you know I brought a woman there you you might have remembered we went her. we went to dinner a few a few years ago and you remember her <laughs> she had a fat fucking ass dude <laughs> You remember her, dude. You remember her, and Tucker Carlson's uh -huh. like, That's huge tea. actually, I, 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 I don't, don't remember. remember her. Her. <laughs> I have no idea what what you're all, talking honestly. about or who that woman one. was. Fucking, <laughs> yeah, did. Tucker Carlson wanted no part of that. He didn't want to have nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with. He uh, said, uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, you weirdo. Matt Gates is over there talking about like Tucker, you remember I took you, your wife, a couple 17 year olds, we went all the way to fucking Palestine and we, we fucked them on the West Bank <laughs> yeah dude, you're not, you're not, nothing's gonna tell me that uh, that he didn't have anything to do with old Jeffy oh yeah, him and old Jeffy were best pals up in Palestine and, <laughs> and uh, Benjamin Netanyahu who was that? The president, That's right? The fucking I mean, prime minister. Of Israel. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, he's all in. He's all in the guts. All in the seventeen-year-old guts. Yeah, man. Fucking. But uh, I searched it up on DuckDuckGo. I, I went on DuckDuckGo and I searched up Jeffrey Epstein 
and Matt Getz uh, connection. What'd you get? And nothing. Nothing? There was nothing. Yet. 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 But you're not going to tell me that they didn't, he didn't have anything to fucking do with them. Who, Tucker or, or Matt Gates and uh, Jeff? Matt Gates. Well, Matt Gates is from Broward, as you may know. Yeah. Right? Jeff home of the pedophile. Home of the pedophiles. They call it Pedophile City, where, yes. I'm, where I'm from. Uh, where from? Je- Jeff Epstein was from Palm Beach County. Mm-hmm. Just a county above. A county above. It's maybe like 45 minutes away. Mm-hmm. So they had so to So were the women. The girls were from Palm Beach also. All yeah. the ones that were groomed by, uh, by and, and trafficked by Ghislaine and Also and the Jeffrey. girls, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So you're not going to tell me that fucking he wasn't, he had nothing to do with them. He was right there, bro. He hey. was right there. If you ask me, that's where he got, he got his, uh, 17 year old buddy. Oh, I, I don't know, but, uh, it's, it's looking terrible for Matt Gates. Matt Gates has a, a long term aide who has resigned. So it looks like it's really, like the, the, the shit is really about to hit the fan for Matt Gates. And, uh, and he's making a fucking fool of us, dude. Of us white boys on, on, on our summer. So a summer that was supposed to be, to be specifically for us. You know, we were supposed to be the ones fucking knocking in drywall. We, we were the ones that were supposed to be just going all out, having a good time, man. Yeah, by the way, drywall. Oh, uh, Copenhagen. It was supposed to be lots of drywall, lots of Copenhagen, lots of moonshine. Uh, uh, seltzers, too. Seltzers. Lot, lots of seltzers. white claw. Get it? Yeah. White claw? Why do you think it's white? Yeah, exactly. Huh? What? When have you ever seen a white claw? <laughs> Claws are usually black. <laughs> but if you're still interested in uh, having a white boy summer, remember to just make sure you stock up on all those things. Especially drywall, because you know us white boys just love them. That hurt. That hurt the shit out of my hand, and I didn't even punch anything. Uh, nothing hurts these fucking hands, man. I think my shit is bruising. Ain't right nothing now. fucking take these hands up. <laughs> Oh, that's because of the bamboo. You, you keep punching the bamboo. Hell yeah. You're getting ready for Miami comedy. For the Miami comedy scene. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. But, but yeah, fucking... he's not the only one that fucked it up for me. It's just not, it's not only Matt Gates. You know, the the founder of White Boy Summer himself Chet has Hanks. fucking made it impossible for us to enjoy this shit, dude. Yeah, Chet Hanks. You know, it was real cool when he declared it. He was like, I'm talking about. Take it how you want it. Me, John B., Jack Harlow type white <laughs> summer. And I was like, I'm talking about me, Ted Cruz, <laughs> Matt, C, Matt Gates, Matt Gates Hunter, Hunter Biden, Biden type white <laughs> summer. Milo Yiannopoulos, all the white, all the good whites out there. Candace Owens is white. Yeah. Um oh, she's a black queen. No, but oh she's a oh I thought she was a white boy. No, she's a black um, queen, you know, because I can partially this is white boy summer and black, black queen, queen summer. summer only. And you know, one thing, you know, things ended up happening, shit got mixy, and Chet Chet, Hank, Chet Hanks black queen left them bleeding by the head. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean things got mixy? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so White Boy Summer was supposed to be about the good old drywall, good old White Claw, and now it's all about getting beat up by your uh, uh, your black girlfriend, or if you have a, if, <laughs> yeah. you're, if you have a Hispanic Puerto girlfriend, Rican. yeah, if you have a Puerto Rican or girlfriend, Dominican. she'll beat your ass. There's a lot of Dominican women that that'll beat your ass too. I don't know, maybe that's why I, I'm having trouble finding love. Every time I get with a Puerto Rican woman, she wants to beat my ass. She wants to get handsy. And I've only gotten with one, so that's every time technically. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm not exaggerating. And let me, and let me tell you guys that. So all my white boys back home, man, if your fucking Dominican wife or your black wife comes up to you, defend yourself from your Latina queen. Defend yourself from your black queen. If they just come up to you, bothering you, trying to tell you anything, you just. That's it, man. That's all you gotta do. That's... You know, it'll only be a white boy summer after that. <laughs> a white boy summer. You're going to have to fucking join the white knights in yeah, jail. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you're going to fucking jail. <laughs> definitely. You know, <laughs> and, 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 and and shit, keep your hands solid, bitch, for your, for your self-defense. This is why we, why we try to tell you to punch as much drywall as possible. Because you need them hands hard to f- defend yourself. Yo, but, you know, shout out Chet Hanks. Uh, he's yeah. like the black sheep of the Hanks family. <laughs> Literally. He's half Jamaican. He's black. It's because he's black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's Jamaican. You guys seen him fucking speaking his patois? 
Pull up, pull up, pull it, pull it, pick up. Wagwan Adele. <laughs> He's shouting out Adele and shit like that. Wagwan Adele. Wagwan. Boom, it's a, boom, 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 It's a white boy summer, Adele. <laughs> yeah, so he's half Jamaican, half uh, half black. Um, I don't know if most of you guys know, his mother starred in um, in The Lady Killers with his father, Tom Hanks. And, you know, he got her pregnant and they had, you know, a beautiful black child together being Chet Hanks. Chet Hanks is a beautiful black child mm-hmm. who advocates for white boy summer. Yes. Shout, out, shout out him. Yeah, definitely. And, but... Uh, he should, you know, it, sh- it shouldn't, you know, he's a, he's the blackest guy. Like he's 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 the blackest guy I could possibly think of. Sean King is the blackest guy we could possibly think of. But you know, this is just something that they they wanted it to be specifically white boy summer. They excluded that from yeah, themselves. Yeah, Chet Hanks you know? and Sean King both wanted. Because Sean King is definitely black. Summer. You've heard that racist ass uh, that racist ass conspiracy he has about his father, right? And what's his father's conspiracy? Well, his his uh, conspiracy is that his white or uh, his mother, who was white, um, cheated on his stepfather, who was white, with a black man. Uh, he was conceived, and the black man bounced and never wanted to have anything to do with him. And that's you know that's kind of racist. What do you think about that? I think that's pretty fucking racist. It's just assume like, is hey, true? my fucking black dad knocked up my white mom and did the dead bee thing and fucking disappeared off the face of the planet it's not racist like it's uh, true yeah but it's it's not true this guy is fucking white he's an ang- he is an white. anglo-saxon man Virtu- he's maybe just virtue signaling maybe puerto rican passing white puerto rican at that white i have a puerto cousin rican. that looks just like sean king um but he's definitely not he's definitely not black bro this guy is 100 percent germanic from Ang- he's anglo you know, anglo anglo yeah dude it's, he's full of shit that's what he is but um, I mean that's funny. Uh, so Chet Hanks, Sean King, mm-hmm. they both ruined White Boy Summer. They both helped ruin. White and Boy they're Summer. not the only people that ruin White Boy Summer. Hunter Biden is also ruining it because now he is denying. He well, he's neither. He's neither denying nor, uh, uh, you know, approving that. That laptop that Rudy Giuliani found <laughs> in Delaware is his. Is his. He's not denying it. He's not saying it is his, but he's not he's saying not, it's, it's not. not. It's a weird situation. Him and Matt Gates are both pulling the same the bullshit. The same exact thing because that's Giuliani been ruining, has been ruining White Boy Summer since the beginning. Right. Giuliani apparently found some sick stuff in that computer. That's what they say. I mean, and in Matt Gates, Matt Gates is also saying shit like, "Oh, I, there's no way I, I was." getting child prostitutes all the time I, I i don't love child prostitutes and it's just like dude why even mention child yeah prostitutes? right nobody said anything about nobody's child, nobody me, mentioned anything yo. about child <laughs> prostitutes <laughs> <laughs> anyway so it's like the same thing at least hunter biden didn't say yeah no that wasn't my laptop with child porn right. on it yeah that exactly. Would be, that would, but he, he didn't say he said I don't know if that's my laptop or not <laughs> yeah. which is fucking weird because <laughs> you would know that's super sketchy if it's your laptop dude it, you wouldn't know if it's your fucking laptop, or am I wrong about that? Yeah, you definitely <laughs> would know like, if it's your laptop, <laughs> especially if there's pictures of you on there. There, you know, there's a picture of you. There's pictures of you smoking crack. There's pictures of you nude photos of you, and then apparently conversations of you with younger women. You know, it's looking it's looking bad. So you know. Uh, basically this is our white boy summer slash easter episode but you know we gotta say rest in peace to white boy summer (laughs) right away right away joe biden went right up to uh right up to hunter and he said look look son i I just want you to know that uh, the wrong son died wrong son died it should have been bo it should have been you I miss Bo. <laughs> I miss Bo. Why couldn't it be you? At least Bo wasn't smoking crack and fucking. fucking you almost cost me a stupid ass election. You <laughs> yeah. almost cost me everything, you asshole. <laughs> as well as Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks isn't too happy about the whole thing either. You know? About right. Chet Hanks. Yeah. Right up to Chet, and he looked him in the eye and said, "You're a waste of adrenochrome, <laughs> son. <laughs> I, I wish I would have drank your adrenochrome the <laughs> instead of creating you." Oh <laughs> shit, man! He said, "I hope that the lab you were genetically modified in <laughs> burns down into a." Because Chet, 
into a large flame. Chet Hanks is a test tube baby. He's definitely a test tube baby. You don't see how fucking perfect he is? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy's a Chad. God. Chad Hanks. Yeah, more like Chad Hanks. Yeah, man. But anyways, it was a pleasure to have you all. Yeah, man. We had we had fun this episode. It was a lot. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. You guys, you guys wouldn't imagine the work. It was the, the shit we do for you guys. You yeah. wouldn't even fucking imagine. You ungrateful sons of bitches. Uh, so if you like this, comment down below. Subscribe and. All right, everybody. All right, my trash can Taliban. We hope you guys like, subscribe, and have a very white boy summer.